You've launched this video because you're interested in becoming a resubscriber to Media Access Pro. Hi, I'm Georgina Santilli, Client Services for BIA Kelsey. In this short video, I will go over a few things and enhancements that have changed with Media Access Pro. First thing I'd like to show you is the digital information that we've added to the program. Within Media Access Pro, I can do a search on a given market and outline all of the primary stations and the digital stations that are associated with those stations. As you see, my results are showing me the main station. I did a search on Atlanta, Georgia, and I can see the main station as well as the HD2 station and the HD3 station that's associated with that main station. Now, I want to change my search up a little bit. I only want to see those stations that are HD2, HD3, and or HD4 within a given market. I've predefined my selection criteria by going in and putting in my criteria of the type of service being HD2 or F2, HD3 or F3, and in the market of New York. When I get to my results, they will show all of the stations in the market of New York and the HD2 or the HD3 for that given market. In addition to detailed HD information, we've also added some additional contact information to our database. In the last years, we have been gathering email addresses for the different contacts. What I'll do is for this sample, I'll just go ahead and do a search on all stations in Washington, D.C. And when I get to my results, I'll be able to see all of the different contacts and their email addresses. There we go. Here's the list of all the different email addresses we now have available in Media Access Pro. This information is completely exportable, printable. You can put it into a PDF file if you'd like. I'll go ahead and show you all of the different contacts that we now have available and some of the email addresses that we have available for the contact information. Comparable sales information. We also have information about station transactions. Right now I'll just go ahead and do a search on one station. When I get to the results, I can customize my results to look at the detailed information for the transaction of this station. I can look at the information at a glance, and as you can see, we've added some additional fields. We've added the proposed date, the grant date, and the consummation date. This screen is really nice and helpful to view everything on one screen, but you can also print this out. You can send it to a printer or send it to a PDF file. Here is what it will print out to on your printer or if you export it to a PDF file. For our fourth and final example, I'll go ahead and show you what we call the distance calculator. What this allows you to do is it allows you to do a distance search from any given station. We've recently added the option to look at an AM an FM or an FX station, or you can search on a zip code or a lat and a long. You're going to put in your call letters, you're going to put in the distance that you want to search, and this is tower to tower. When you execute the search, the program will go in and find all of the stations and those stations fall within a given mile radius. On my results screen, I see the station that I started my search with, WFANAM, and then I show all of the following stations and their distance in miles from the main station. Again, this is tower to tower. These are just a few of the things that have changed with Media Access Pro. Thanks for taking the time to view this short video, and if you'd like further information, please call your account manager. They'd be happy to give you a demo of the full program.